All right, so I'm headed to a bass spot right now. I was gonna go for pike, but um, the highway kind of got blocked off a little bit. So plan B, after school trip, I'm gonna go for a big bass. It is so damn windy. There's literally tres no trespassing signs everywhere, no fishing. Got my rods and um, here's the lake right here. Last time I was here, over there, I saw a seven pounder. I'm gonna show you the video right now. Oh my God, he's right there. He, where'd he go? I don't have my GoPro with me. No, oh, there he is, there he is, look at him. Oh, there he is, look at him. I don't think it's gonna come up on the, on the iPhone. There he is, look at him, look at him. Right off, oh, we, I'm probably scaring him right now. Oh my God, that's a seven pounder, no, no doubt. There he is, look at him, oh my God. Look at that freaking, that's a seven pounder. That's a freaking toad. Hopefully I can get that seven pounder. I'm gonna stay low for a bit. I think people get, this is like a, uh, a work kind of pond, I guess. People get out of work at like five-ish. So I'm gonna stay low in the woods part here until five. But I've got a weighted four inch white Kytec swim bait. The problem with today is that all the lakes are turning over. Like, so basically if you don't know what turning over means, in the summer heat rises and the winter heats on the bottom. So basically it just flips from summer to to winter and that's what basically what the turnover is and that time the, the water is always like from the top and the bottom is always the same temperature and so the fish are so spread out and hard to catch so you know it's just a it's just difficult to catch fish during the turnover but before and after is really good especially right after so this presentation is really simple it's basically just a, a smaller fish hunting down an even smaller fish so this is like a a little fish or just any any kind of forage thing and this is falling it down so like kind of a bigger fish just need a smaller fish and then the even bigger fish will try to eat that uh smaller fish is trying to eat the even smaller fish if that makes any sense got a little guy on here Okay, it's not that little. It's about two pounder. Oh. Okay, well, figured out some sort of pattern. Somehow managed to catch a fish during the turnover. This is this cold, cold fish. That's the fish. Hey, I mean, it's not bad. Nice, probably just short of two pounds. Pretty heavy fish, pretty thick. Look at that stomach. Nice ball feeding fish. So healthy. Now look at that. Oh. Okay. All right. That was cool. Some healthy fish in here. Nice silvery largemouth bass. Look at that one. Nice and silvery. See, only if the wind would just stop, and if it wasn't like a fall turnover thing, I would probably be killing it right now. One. Wow, I'm just smacking him right here. Oh my god. Is that what I think that is? <gasps> Look at this. Okay. <laughs> that was a surprise. He has a hole right here. I, that's probably where I either missed him or someone just caught him before. He has a ton of holes in his mouth. 13, probably about a 13 inch crappie. Ooh, some nice cold water. All I'm doing is just casting that kaitik out and just pop, pretty much popping it, bumping it, and crawling it around these rocks.
Is that a crappie? Oh, look at that crappie. Oh my gosh. That is such a beautiful fish. Look at that. First cast with the crappie jig. Didn't actually think it would work, but there's a nice school of crappie down there. And oh my gosh. Another beautiful. This is a really pretty crappie. Holy cow. Oh my god. Did you see that blow up? Oh, that was so sick. That bass came so far out of the water. Big fish, giant fish, guys, giant bass, guys, oh. this is a seven pounder on a Senko, shit, oh, on a Senko, please don't come off, baby, oh my god, Oh my god. Oh, it's a catfish. It's a giant catfish. Oh, yeah. I'm not even mad. Oh my god. I thought it was a fuck. I thought it was a bass, but all right. Well, that doesn't really anger me that much, but so many different species today. I mean, I would rather it be a bass, but I'm not even mad. Oh man, you know, I'm, I'm happy but I'm sad because I know there's giant bass in here, but when I saw that tail come up, I just knew it was not a bass. <laughs> Look at that channel cat. So this one's about 24 inches or so. I'd say about two feet. The other one I caught was 28 inches. So not quite as big as the other one, but what a nice fish. Oh my god. That was literally a six pounder. <laughs> like, not even gonna lie. Do you see it's coming out of the water? I have to go now. My mom's yelling at me. This is horrible. Now that I'm going on for and subscribers, I want to see what you guys want me to do with the channel. Put in the comment section what you want me to do video-wise. You want me to just do bass fishing, go and do kayak fishing, do vlogs, um, multi-species, catfish, whatever it is. Just tell me what you want me to do. Because now it's kind of gotten to the point where I should do what you guys want and not what I want to do. Either that or I just keep doing what I'm doing, just doing the same kind of different kinds of video, do different types of fishing. Well, that was... Either that or I just do exactly what I'm doing, different kinds of fishing, different kinds of species, every video that comes out and not the same thing every time. John B., he does a lot of just bass fishing. And once in a while, he put in the occasional other species. And Fluke Master will just do just bass fishing. AP Basting will just do just bass fishing. And Catfish and Carp, he'll just do Catfish and Carp. So, do I want to be like that or should I just do something different? Every, every time a video comes out, it'll be different. That's kind of wanna, what I wanted to address for the 100th video. Oh my god, oh my god, 100th video. God, oh my god, oh my god. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the fishing part of this video. I sure did. Leave a like and a comment telling me 
what I need to know.